Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is another settings video, controller settings video. It's using the Xbox 360 controller or your Series S or X gamepad controller purely for drones. So perhaps you have another controller for your Series S or X or PC whatever controller you're using mainly and your gamepad is left over it's pretty redundant I'm going to show you my settings for the Xbox 360 controller for drones and it should work the same like I said for the Series S or X uh, if you're just going to use it purely for drone navigation okay so let's not dilly dally let's get on with this video Okay, so currently I'm just using the default controller bindings for the Xbox 360 controller. And this should be the same, for, like I said, for the Series S and X. The default bindings for your drone camera works quite well. You use the triggers to move up and down, a lot of you will know this. And you're using your analog sticks to rotate and move backwards and forwards. And then there's a couple of more confusing settings within the uh, default settings, which I want to simplify. So let's go to options. I've actually pressed the start button, which I'll be getting rid of. I'll, I'll explain more of that in a moment on the Xbox controller. But let's go to control options. So as you can see, I'm using the Xbox controller in conjunction with my XPC yoke. Just for example, you could be using com something completely different. But we go to camera and drone camera. There's a lot of things set up already and a lot of these things work fine. There's a couple of things I want you to keep your eye on here. Uh, the drone reset drone target offset. What that will do. Let's go back so it's X and A together. Is actually just reset back behind your aircraft. So if you're using drone camera, you've moved around, you've lost your aircraft. X and A together will reset your view. That's okay. Triggers, like I said, and rotations, they all work fine. So that's one thing we want to keep an eye on. And the drone, let me just get the name of this, increase and decrease drone translation speed. First thing we're going to do, though, we're going to clear... I'm going to go search by input here. Make sure your Xbox controller is selected, so it's white. Search by input. I'm going to press the back button, which is this button here. So the back button, and I'm going to essentially clear any default binding. Ah, yeah, I'll clear that and validate, and it, then it asked me to rename. That's what I was saying R for. I need to rename it, but that's okay. So I'm going to create a new pro profile drone profile. I think that's pretty straightforward. Drone profile. There we go, and okay. And apply and save. I'm also going to clear the button for the start. It is start, isn't it? Yeah, start here. So I'm going to click in this box again. Press my start button on my Xbox 360 controller and clear any bindings that are set up for it. So let's clear that. Clear current input. And clear current input. And apply and save. And we get rid of that box if I press my back button. So this button here back button nothing's binded press the start button nothing's binded we've got rid of it let's set up a couple of buttons now now for the back button I want that to actually uh, select my drone camera oops I don't want to click in that box again Never mind. I'll just click and do that so I'm going to collapse all these menus here go to open them again one by one well not one by one Actually, let's just go to new here. Let's just come back because otherwise this window is going to mess me around. So assigned. If I open this window now, I don't want cockpit camera. I will in a moment, but I just want drone camera for the moment. I actually want to go to toggle drone camera. I don't think it's assigned to anything here. So I'm going to have to move the filter to all. It'll give me all the settings. There we go. Toggle drone camera. You may have to scroll down a bit to find that. So scroll down so you find toggle drone camera. 
and I'm going to use the back button to toggle drone camera. So I'll press my back button. Validate. It's just an easier way to get into drone cam, essentially. And for the start, I want in cockpit camera. Should be toggle cockpit. Cockpit view. Toggle cockpit view. Start button. So there you go. In cockpit camera under filter all. Scroll down a bit. I'll try and go a bit slower for you. Because, you know, so you can keep up with me. Toggle cockpit view. Click in that and press the start button and validate and apply and save now keep in mind this is saved to a new profile we've deleted all the assignments for back and start and we've put toggle drone camera on back and as you can see toggle cockpit view on start go back to the sim resume now i'm in drone camera already if i press my start button I'm in the cockpit, so if I was flying around, I can resume my flight, press my back button. I'm in the drone camera, and then I can continue droning, uh, flying around. Okay, so let's continue with more settings. Okay, so continuing, so drone rotation speed, moving backwards and forward. These are something I want, I want to change. Currently, you have to press, hold your A down, press your left trigger. And that will slow your drone speed down, essentially, as you can see, it's slowing down. Is it right? I know it's complicated. I think it might be right trigger and A. Or is it right trigger and X? It's right trigger. See, I'm confused already. Right trigger and X will slow your speed down. Right tr left trigger and X, holding X down, will increase your drone speed. I don't like that. I just find that when I'm, when I'm in drone camera and I want to show some footage, I just find that quite uh, confusing. And I also want to set a button so I can reset my drone cam. I'm just using the default X and A at the moment to reset the view. I want to set that. I want to simplify that to a better button. So what I'll do, I'm going to have to press escape on my keyboard now because I've changed my start button on my Xbox 360 controller. That's okay. I'm only using it for drone cam. So keep this in mind if you're using your Xbox controller for any other reason other than drone. Maybe you don't want to follow this guide or you can follow it and just have a different profile if you want to go back to your old profile. So again, we're going to open drone camera. What we're going to do first, we're not going to open cameras. We're going to go search by input and I'm going to clear buttons A, B and Y, whatever's set to them, click button A. I'm going to clear it, so toggle smart cockpit camera, I don't need that, clear current input, validate. I'll keep the drone settings, these don't matter, if you're in drone cam it doesn't really matter. What I'm trying to avoid when I'm using drone cam, if I'm up in the air, I don't want any of my aircraft cockpit uh, controls to trigger when I'm messing around in drone cam. And sometimes they can, for example, increase throttle. If I'm using A, I don't want my aircraft throttle to increase. So I'm going to clear that. I'm just clearing. I'm doing this quick. But I'm just clearing any input that's not to do with drones under A. And it doesn't take long to do this. Clear current input. Validate. Apply and save. We'll do the same for B. You can do the same for all the buttons. X, A, B, Y. But I'll just do it for A, B, and Y. So I'll clear that input. Drone settings, I'm going to leave. It doesn't really matter if you're in drone view. Clear current input. Anything else. A lot of these won't trigger anyway. Uh, but you might as well clear them if you're just going to use this for drone control. Clear current input. If you can hear a siren in the background, I do apologise. It's not usually sirens where I am, but there you go. Decrease throttle. I definitely want to clear that on B. And apply and save. So that's all the settings on B apart from the drone settings that I've cleared. Click in this box again. Click Y. I'm going through this quickly, but hopefully a lot of you will understand and you know rewind a bit if you need to go and watch this part again. Just clearing anything that's not to do with drone settings on Y in this case. So basically A, B and Y for myself. I'm going to clear that. Clear current input. Validate. Uh, menu, yeah, we could clear that, validate, because I'm going to use Y for resetting my drone view, basically. Uh, clear that. 
And select heading book, we don't need that. Any autopilot stuff should be here as well with Y. Yeah, we can clear that. We don't want to trigger autopilot when we're in drone view or turn it off or whatever it might do. It's just that if you're in a flight, you don't pause your flight and you're in drone camera, you may trigger some events in your aircraft by pressing buttons. So it's worth clearing them if you're using your Xbox controller just for drones. And apply and save, we clear them. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to click in this box again. Use my left trigger. I'm just going to clear, especially the rudder controls. Because uh, I don't want them to trigger either. I have noticed sometimes when you're in drone cam, your events in your aircraft can trigger. So I can clear left trigger and right trigger here, I think. So if I move there, I'm going to leave the rest because they don't matter. It's just the... Uh, yeah, so it's cleared the rudder in the right trigger for me as well. I think I just cleared that before. So they're cleared. I'm going to leave the rest and apply and save. Shall we move straight on? We might as well set this up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it onto new, collapse all, put it back to assign. Actually, I'll go back. That's the best way. So then anything that's remembered, it will forget now. <laughs> so I'm in assigned on my controller. Go to your camera. Let's just slow down a bit here for you. Go to drone camera. And some of these settings are already set up, the ones we want to change. So I'll just overwrite them. I'm just scrolling down till I see. I've gone past it. A and B together. Where is it? A and B together. Uh, Murphy's Law. When I want to find it, I never can. B and Y... So there you go, nice and slow. A and B together. It's basically reset, reset drone target offset. It'll just reset your drone view back behind your aircraft. Instead of X and A together, I just want this as Y. I'm going to click in the box there, and I'm going to overwrite it, essentially. So click in this box. I'm going to press my Y button on my Xbox controller and validate. So that's going to reset my drone view. Apply and save. Increase drone rotation speed. Now, where's that? Increase drone rotation, uh, translation speed. I want that as A. Increase drone translation speed so you can just overwrite what's currently here. Click in the box. Click in here. Click in A. Or click your A button rather. Apply and save. And then we want also decrease drone rotation, uh, translation speed. Which is here. Decrease drone translation speed. Click in the box. We we'll overwrite it. Click hit in this box. Click your B button. Uh, validate and apply and save. That's all I need to set up. You can go ahead and set up more settings if you wish. Some of the default settings work perfectly fine for me. So now, triggers still work. My analog stick still, still works moving around. Let's increase our drone speed. I'm just holding it. Hey, that's a lot better. A lot better so I can go woo. That's a strange sound effect for you, but I can just zoom around now. I want to press my B button to slow myself down. It's slowing down. There you go. A bit faster. Press A. Let's reset ourselves. Press Y behind our aircraft. Bob's your uncle. And then you can go back up. I'll go a bit faster. Press my A button. Hold it down when I'm moving forward. Press my B. Slow it down a bit. There you go, chaps. I want to get back in my cockpit. Press my start button. No, I don't. I want to get back to drone view. I want to reset my drone. Press Y. As you can see, it works beautifully. So there you go, chaps. That's my setup for my Xbox 360 controller. In my drone view, I only use it for drone camera. So if you like to do likewise, just follow the settings I did in this video and it should work fine. Let me know how you get on. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and it's been helpful to you. Subscribe for more, many more of these types of flight simulation videos on their way. And I'll see you soon.